Hello and welcome back to the Midlands and it's episode 113, goodness me. We, we've been quite busy, haven't we, with uh, Transport Fever 2. But it has been requested that we uh, head back to, to this map and to Transport Fever 1, the original. We can say that now. It's a bit weird, isn't it? We are at uh, the last episode, so guess the station. Whenever that was, I don't know, it was a couple of weeks ago now, wasn't it? Was it even a month ago? It's very busy here. Have you guessed what it is yet? Oh, I turned into Rolf Harris all of a sudden. That's wonderful. <laughs> uh, this is the uh, new station master's house. Who resides here? Well, it is East Anglian train spotting for his hat trick. Congratulations. You, you have this lovely... Lovely station master's house. They're all the same houses that I use, for fairness, and you all get the same car. Let's zoom out a little bit. You all get the same car. This one. I think it's that one, if I'm right. There you go. You got the new brick walls, though. That's, that's a new fence mod, isn't it? Oh, so, Transport Fever 2. Who's been playing that? A few of you? I have, obviously. Shall we, uh, shall we bring the UI up? We are in November of 1992. The power station was just in the corner up there. That was the giveaway. And this is Long Eaton, of course. It's not bad, is it? It's kind of nice, this. It needs, it needs a bit of detailing and finishing up, but uh, it does have a station master now. Now, just click on it. There you go. Episode 112, East Anglian train spotting. I hope I spelt it right. So yeah, what are we doing today? I have a few plans. We've got to tidy up some wiggly, wiggly services that are doing things that I don't want them to do. We've also got to head up to Stone from uh, ooh, which one we're heading up from? Rugeley Trent Valley. That that's the plan. So we'll do that. Getting up to Stone is going to be quite important because we need to get there from. Oh, there is a train. No, it's heading that way. We need to head up there from Stafford as well. I'm trying to find my bearings. Here we go. So, where's Stafford? Stafford, Stafford. Here. Yeah. So we need to head up that way, but there's a big old junction here, which I'm looking forward to doing, actually. And first, we're going to we're gonna wiggle our way up like that, head into Stone, and that will give us that section. Then you've got Stone Station heading out towards staff that way and then we've got the big junction so that's the plan however first we need to fix some things and then uh, we need to talk about uh, what we're doing with the midlands map i it's been pointed out we're missing a crossover here and this isn't quite right this doesn't exist now i would imagine it doesn't exist because oh i thought that would broken something we don't use this and i'm not sure it's ever used it's more like an old old station yep we won't get well we don't want catenary for here we do want it in a second we're just gonna slot that in there that's pretty much what it does what i was thinking which is slightly but we do want catenary just slightly better than the actual setup is we just go straight here that should give us hopefully oh come on you can do it give us a decent connection i think that'll do that gives us a lovely uh crossover just there Slightly better than the actual one, I would say. The actual one crosses over a bit more like that. But this will do for us. What that does is now sort out our trains. And they don't do the weird wiggle. That's a lot better, isn't it? It's very busy. Look at all those routes. Right then. Which one is this? This is London, Euston to Liverpool, Lime Street. Can't remember if there's an actual crossover here. I don't think there is. You don't really fit on that platform, do you? Goodness me. Does that mean this is possibly an a, a four car? Not an eight? No, that can't be right. Oh, guys, you're going to have to help me there. Does that hang over? Because this is about the right length. Hmm. Awkward. Well, <laughs> we'll sort that out if need be. I mean, it doesn't really matter, does it? Trains have been known to be uh, longer than the platforms on a regular basis around the UK so not a big deal we have a I've missed a station on this route this crew route Midlands is supposed to come in here London Northwestern 
Did I just say Midlands randomly? Of course we're in the Midlands. That's what this map is. I'm just reminding myself. Anyway, how do you play this game? I've got to remember, guys. We'll talk about what I miss from this version compared to the new one. There's a few things, I will say. But it's early days for the uh, Transport Fever 2. Right, after Stafford, we're missing a Rusley stop. Which is why you're not going across there like you should be. So we need to add this one. There we go. Now, you should get off at this junction and it should be pretty quick. Let's just check what the rest of the trains are doing. That's rather nice, isn't it? That kind of works lovely. Now, we've got some more trains to sort out, but it's been so long and I can't remember. <laughs> yes, that one is going to Stafford. That's good. It, it technically doesn't stop there, although it can do or has been known to, I think. Or is it Stoke? No, I think it goes off the other way. I think we go up to Stafford and head off the map up there. But we'll sort that out when we get to it. What else do we have still turning around here? Uh, we have... Let's zoom in. We have the these two Virgin services. And yes, I am well aware. So Virgin are no more. On the West Coast Main Line, it is now Avanti. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that. I'm sure... You guys will correct me if I'm wrong. Which is part of first group. So they're now operating down here. However, we're in 1993. It's probably completely way off anyway. I don't. It's probably closer to these, isn't it? We still have these because I believe they are now available on the workshop. I'll have to download the actual mod for us, guys. So that I can make the save game available. Is that everything sorted? think so you don't do anything yes you do you do something wiggly here that's really not needed although technically you're not supposed to turn around there i don't know what you're going to be doing eventually probably both going to be heading that way so yeah we can we can put in a waypoint of sorts maybe i don't know where down here somewhere what waypoints do we have available let's have a look Oh dear, a bit of a ninja cough there. I'll edit that in seamlessly. Or out, even. Dear, oh dear. I was, I was not expecting that. Well, obviously. But anyway, what we're going to put here, it's it's going to be one of these waypoints. We could have a fake signal, right? Oh, it's a bit ugly. It's not. I would like an actual signal that we use everywhere else. One of the UK ones. Don't really like these. They're not, not very UK at all. Well, I've never seen them anyway. I guess we can just have one of these at the side. It matters not. It matters not. Put you there. It's just a waypoint. That way we can uh, set this train to do non-wigglies like it's doing. It's basically, it's, it's crossing over, which I get. It's got to get over onto this track anyway, but then it goes again because reasons. Pathing. Right, so that's after Stafford, right? Because then we're going to Rugeley. Shouldn't that be Rugeley Trent Valley anyway? I, I didn't name that station ever. Anyway, how's it look now? That's better. This blue one can do what it's doing at the moment. Uh, that's the Caledonian Sleeper. But eventually that's going to be coming back through here. So it will do do the same thing. And we have a waypoint there now that can, that can stop it from doing the wiggles. Although, will that be wiggling out? Or, no, because it's two-way, isn't it? It goes that way and that way. We don't have anything using this outside at the moment. I don't know what will. I'm sure we'll find something that can. Right, so that's now doing that. We got to we got to rename this. This is supposed to be usually Trent Valley, I believe. Not sure. Could be wrong. But I'm fairly, fairly confident. I'm going with it, guys. I'm going with it. That's our little, uh, that's our little local service that runs up, up and down from Birmingham. I love the sounds of these. Have you noticed all the mods are coming to Transport Fever 2? They are working on them. They're a bit, some of them can be a bit temperamental and crashy, but it's, it's early days. That's why I'm not using mods in there. I mean, we've had a lot of, a lot of time with mods, haven't we, in Transport Fever 1? So, what am I missing? From Transport Fever 2. Well, 
I, I'll tell you what I'm missing, and one thing that upsets me a little bit. It doesn't upset me. Why do I say upset me? That's not what it does at all. Uh, for, where are we? Stoke. When we have Stoke in, there's some brilliant motorways that run by the side of it that are completely not possible in Transport Fever. I mean, you could sort of do it, but they look terrible. Uh, so that's one thing I'm already missing. And I'll probably just do what I've done everywhere else and there'll be sort of a hint of what's going on there rather than the actual thing. However, when we do get to recreations, should we go over and watch trains instead of Stoke? That hasn't got any yet. It will have soon. Uh, where's somewhere we don't sit? I've really got to... It's a bit different today. I've really got to talk about Transport Fever 2 because pick a place. Just pick somewhere. Goodness me, it's busy in New Street, which is... Which is correct. It would be. Oh, yeah, we fixed this. Why don't we look over here? Just ignore those houses for the minute. There we go. We'll sit here for a second. We are going to head up to Stone, I do promise. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you. So, yes, I've completely lost my train of thought. Puns are still here. Yes, that's what I was talking about. Recreations. The reason I'm not doing recreations in... Transport Fever 2 yet. I do have a load planned and you're going to vote on those if you want to. I mean, you don't have to. I'm not going to force you. But uh, I've got a big old list and we're going to start with voting on what country to go to. And then once we vote on what country, we can narrow it down to what area within the country. But it could be anywhere. It's, it's all up to you guys. And I'll do my best to recreate it. Probably start off small. Just in case some issues arise with the new game. For Transport Fever 1, I mean, we're, we're, we're bedded in. There's a few things missing. I do like the new the new tools they have for modifying terrain. They're a little bit better than this. There's, they've added another one, haven't they? Is an actual flattening tool. Although in Transport Fever 1, we have the mods that uh, handle that anyway. But yes, I'm sat here for a good reason. This is another thing we do not have in Transport Fever 2. Not many stations you could do justice in the UK currently. And I would like to really do a better job of the station. I mean, they're all right. They're, they're pretty much accurate as in as in the curvature and, and how many tracks there are. I, I do like that. But uh, curvature, that was the word. We don't have that yet. I'm hoping they put it in because if they don't, I don't know. The recreations might not happen. I just wouldn't. I'd, I'd come back here. We'll do another one in Transport Fever 1. Until its younger brother can, can live up to it. Still a lot missing. So that's why we're continuing on the Midlands map here. Although, I will say, I'm enjoying the actual playing of the game in Transport Fever 2. So we will stick with that one. Uh, for gameplay, actual gameplay, where we're earning money and stuff. It doesn't mean we can't do pretties. We'll just we won't be doing recreation yet. We might do areas like use the actual map, but we won't go crazy with how the stations look. Oh, we've got a train pulling up here. We're a bit laggy, aren't we? It's not surprising. This is a megalomani maniac map. This size is the biggest you can go in Transport Fever One and Two. I don't think there are any others. They are limited to this. Oh, it looks great. I have missed this, guys. I forgot how good it looks. Should we go up to stone? So, yeah, so that's what's happening with the whole recreation side of my channel. We're just going to have to stay here for a while and maybe do a smaller one after if, if we're still waiting on nice curved stations. I know the author of this mod is, is attempting to do something similar in Transport Fever 2. I don't know how it's going to go. He might be waiting on Urban to do their curved station mod, because that's what he had. You should be going the right way now, down there. Are oh, you beautiful. Still got semaphores here. Nice. Anyway, Stone, should we, uh, should we head up there? I had a thought about doing, like, continuing the Midlands map as a two-hour live stream every Sunday. I don't know what you guys think about that. It is up to you. I don't know what speed we could go here. 110. I think 110's good. We've got to swing round the outside of Western there. I don't know whether we want to raise up or not. I feel like a cutting will be just fine. There are some cuttings around here. 
And considering that like we slope around, this looks like it'll be a good good thing to do for us. As long as we stay at 110, I think that'll be perfect. Right, we're gonna have to get rid of some of you, including that, because your your roads are a bit wonky. Oh motorways. That's something I definitely love in the new transport fever. Something you just can't do. One way streets are not a thing. There we go. We'll start heading towards towards stone, wherever you are, you're over there. As long as we get round here without dropping too much speed, I don't mind. There we go. Well, it's fairly flat. It, it, I mean, it's bumpy, but it's okay. I like it. And we can head up. That. Oh, that's a bit too much. There's no tunnels. There's there's no cuttings like that either. Perhaps we can go around there better. Oh, not your achievements. Stop showing off. Now, what do we need to bring? Where Where's the maps? Where's the layers? They're down here. Everything's in the wrong place now. No, everything's in the right place. I do wish I'd stop coughing today. Goodness me. Right, let's bring up the uh, contour lines. Oh, it looks like you want to head that there. That's too tight though, isn't it? It looks perfect though. Can we come round a bit sharpish? A bit tighter? Maybe. If we bring it back to here, we might be able to. You know, I don't think we're going to get the, the speed and the angle together. Well, maybe. Maybe if we stick to 110. 110-ish. We don't mind a little bit of a cut in there. It should be far less. There we go. I mean, we could have some elevation change. We don't need a lot. But we could, like, say, do something like shift. Just knock it up a touch like that. And then head back down. I think that will work. As long as we're... Uh, flat again once we're getting up to stone because we want to curve into stone a little bit there we go and then up there i like it guys i like it you have to get this right don't you you have to get it right i mean what's the point of doing a recreation if you then just <laughs> just throw it down anywhere there we go i like it we've got a lot of signaling to do down there so what are your thoughts on a live stream uh, what i probably do is put a poll up in this video Remind me if I forget. I will put it up. I'll try and remember. I mean, I'm doing this Sunday morning. You haven't got to remember long. Uh, it's, it's once I go and do the editing side of things, there is a bit of a cutting. And it's about there. We've almost got the uh, terrain right. But yeah, I'll put it up. Stone doesn't have proper road. It doesn't matter anyway. I think we're going through the middle there. That's what we're doing. Uh, we're going to have to come this way as well, aren't we? Stone, you've been decimated. Just a little bit. It it matters not because this is how we, we're doing it. Right, we need to keep this flat because we're going to be heading up that way. There is a little bit of a cut in. I like it. It's happening. You missed it. Get in there. We have it. We have it. Now, other stone station. I guess it will be fine just coming up here. I don't think this is that quick. 60 would be more than enough. It's going to mess up the catenary. Before I moan about catenary. Uh, ooh, look at you being fancy and getting... Ooh, I like you. Uh, it's just as bad in Transport Fever 2. So, uh, meh. <laughs> it's just never going to be fixed, is it? There's a station we need to put here. That'll be Stone Station. Uh, I just wanted to make sure we could get rid of the catenary. Now, I just want to draw a line here. So that we insert a couple of nodes... There we go. And that's where the station's going. There we go, guys. We got it in. We got a connection in. Now, we're not going to be able to use this section until we get up to into Stoke there. But we will be able to use this section once we do this big junction. I, I think in the next episode, we do this big junction. I don't want to try it now because I don't have any of the research open. <laughs> that, so that would be an, an awkward challenge for me. We, we do have a... The A51, I think, goes down here somewhere. Runs alongside this bit of track. I mean, we've got a lot of signalling to do, don't we? An awful lot of signalling to do. We uh, bring these these up. There is some already in. I mean, we could put a couple in. You know what? I've missed this. I'm a little bit rusty with the UI. Oh, you can do one way. Same as the new one. Why did you delete it, you burk? <laughs> you don't need to do that. I'm going to say, though, I moan about the the, no, the lack of 
Well, I didn't even moan, I just mentioned it. But uh, I do miss the curved stay or the awesome stations that we have in Transport Fever this version, but they're mostly mods because the default ones are still a bit pants, aren't they? The only thing it is is that they've added a curved mod. So once they add the curved mod and then we wait for the uh, the awesome modders to bring their their stations into the game, then I think I think we're heading back to where we are. I'll, I'll do this off camera. You don't want to watch me doing blocking all the way. Maybe one day we'll get auto blocking. I don't think it really matters, to be honest. I don't mind doing it, but we can play it now. So we have, have our connection up to stone. I guess what we should do is put stone station in. It's a curvy one. <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't you believe it? It's a curvy one. All you can do in Transport Fever 2 is terrible basic straight stations. That, that makes me unhappy. Right, spin these round. Again, you said unhappy when what you actually mean is I'm, I would like it. That's completely different. Get this here. Well, let's turn off all the gubbins. How excited will you be for uh, if he manages to get the ultimate station in there? Me personally, I'll be super excited. Uh, I don't know whether it's got a station building. We'll be able to change it. Let's remember to do the the track. I don't, I'm not sure on the plat platform length either. You know, I'm, it's a fairly aggressive curve. I'd say it's even more than that. I don't think it's that long then. 140? Probably. 140 looks about right. And I'm going to say it might even be... It's really curvy. There. That looks about right. I'm going with it. Except you're not, are you? Because what haven't you done? High speed catenary. Let's not mess that up. Can we stick that in there? I'll take that, I think. That will do us for stone. Stone station is important. Go. Get you in there. Beautiful. Got a little molehill. Where did you come from? There are no more. I tell you what, I do like that the grass sticks through. And I am missing the grass here. I mean, we can put our own in, but it's nice when you don't have to, isn't it? Ooh, official episode. There we go. We're in. Oh, I am so rusty. So, so rusty. Right, I don't know, actually know what we're doing with this. So I should just maybe put it in something like that. And then I'll research it for episode 114. Every, every Sunday. What do you reckon, guys? Every Sunday? Are we happy with that? Because I really want to uh, get learning all the little all the little nuances of the, the new Transport Fever. And I'll be honest, niggles aside, and the fact it's a bit unstable for some, I am loving it. Uh, if you you are having issues with uh, stability, they are gonna, they are going to work on it. They're already working hard on it. There's already been several patches out. So have a little patience. This one started equally as unstable for some. So uh, it's it's not new. That's what you get when you've got a, uh, what have they got? They've got a proprietary engine, is that right? Well, they made their own. Let's not use big words. They made their own. So there we go. We've got that in. I don't know what we're going to do with it. We need to head off this way. But like I said, I don't have my research for this. In fact, that went in a lot quicker than I was expecting. I was expecting this section just here to be kind of tricky. It wasn't. Well... I mean, that's that's good though, right? We need that in. We're going to get our... What were, Virgin? Now there'll be a Vanti, right? Heading down here. We don't have the, the liveries for a Vanti on any of our trains. So our uh, voyages that we're going to put in here. Are they voyages? I think so, yeah. The voyages that we're going to put in. Travelling down here. Uh, are going to be Virgin, but we don't mind that. I don't know which one you are. You might even go via... I don't even know. You don't stop here. The Manchester Express. You don't stop there. You you might be the one that heads down here. Well, answers on a postcard for that one. You probably told me in the previous episode. I'm going to have to go back, aren't I, and look at all that. Should we, should we go and look around for the rest of this episode? Because that's in. And we know what's happening next time around. I will say, we've got some issues uh, on the roundabout. I noticed this in Wolver near Wolverhampton, or in Wolverhampton, here. Here's remnants. They built a road down here and started building because I didn't put the fences far enough away from the, from the road. They should actually be this far away all the way around. Uh, perhaps we can do that together. 
if possible. That would kind of be nice. It needs to be fixed. So let's pause that so we don't... Uh, ooh, don't click that. So hopefully we don't make it crash. Uh, in fact, save it. All right, all saved. We get to use the, uh, the bulldozery tool. Where is the bulldozer tool? I can never remember. It's in here, I think. I'm right at the end. Look at all the things, the mods we've got. Wrecking ball can be used to bulldoze lots of objects at once. It's that one, isn't it? Bulldoze. Yeah, that's leveling an area. It's this one. All. Don't mind. Oh, are you going to get rid of that? I don't think so. I think that's part of the, the uh, crossing. I just want to get rid of this bit of fence. And so we can put it a little further away. And then that way, we don't have to worry about them building there. We'll see. All those. You didn't work, you burk. Why didn't you work, plan? Maybe I didn't capture it all. Go around here. Try it again. As long as you get the entire object, it should work just fine. For some reason, I might have missed the touch. Oh, look. This bit here might not count. All those. Oh, you're not doing it. I don't want to have to do it individually. Come on, work, please. Right. We're going all the way over. <laughs> We're literally going all the way over. I mean, really, I could just do it like this. Just do that. Surely, that will get it. All the... There we go. I don't know why I just didn't do that in the first place. Look at all you lot. What are you doing? You make my voice go high by walking around like this. Silly Sims. Oh, all these guys are... Wait, you don't look like you're looking up at the sky as much. Did they fix those by... Really? Let's find some people at the platforms. Oh no, they're all zombies still. There we go. There we go. We just caught them not looking up at the sky. Okay, let's refence this. Hopefully, they don't do it anymore. Now, which was? <laughs> I don't know which one it was. I want to say... I want to say it's not metal rods, is it? Is it wire mesh? No. Metal? Ooh... It's either metal or metal rods. I can't remember. Let's try that. It's m metal. Done. All right, we can get rid of that. That's why I didn't want to delete it all, by the way. Because you have to do it like that. This is all right. I'm just happy you can do it at all. You you're still pressing on the wrong things. Oh, you're rusty. Okay, so we need to be a little further out. I think as long as we go there, that should stop them from building. Then we can put all the trees back in and it'll be fine. Oh, for this to be... We could redo this roundabout so much better. Transport Fever 2, couldn't we? It's a bit not as pretty as it was before. But that's fine, because we'll hide it with bushes. All is okay. There we go. It's like, it's like it never happened. I mean, all we want them to do is not build on our roundabout. In fact, you can lock the roads uh, to stop them changing the road in Transport Fever 2. But... Uh, it's been found out that they still build houses, even if it's on a motorway. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Hopefully they fix that and stop them from building. I will say, though, that's been an issue in, in this version of Transport Fever as well. It was an issue for quite a while where they would build on the motorways, on the country roads. I remember that on uh, my East Coast Mainline map. Right, let's see if that stops them. Hopefully it does. Hit play. We're in 1993. That's crazy. I still need to do something about this. I don't know what I'm doing with it yet. We haven't finished going across either. Do you know what did surprise me? Urban not doing an HST. As part of the, the vanilla mods. It's probably the biggest thing at least the UK have wanted. But... Uh, yeah, maybe we'll get a, a nicer one for Transport Viva 2. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, didn't we put a, a load of trains on? We've got a bit of a backup getting into New Street. And I think that was due to the fact I stuck like a whole bunch of trains on at once. Yes. So they've got to make their way through New Street. Let's have a look. How is our platform usage? I think it's all right, actually. Goodness me. Oh, oh dear. No, I think you're doing all right. That's about as neat as it needs to be. Yes. What's this white one? Is that Chilton? What is that? Birmingham New Street to Hereford to 
Oh, it's West Midlands Railway. Wait, what? Why is it in white? Was it in white before or did, did I just decide to change the colour? I don't know. So these are on the workshop now. I'll have to find where they are on the workshop. I've still got the one I just downloaded. They might even look different. Because I've manually installed them. Oh, I love them though. So I don't know whether they've got new sounds. I'll have to look for that and get it uh, checked, swapped over. It sh should hopefully be okay to swap over. Oh, that's going to be a mission. Okay, what else can we do? We've got some trucks to upgrade that I keep forgetting to do. Goodness me. You're, you're terrible. Is it these ones? I think we've still got like... No, we did upgrade these. Yeah, because we've got the Tesco's trucks. We've got Asda trucks that are over that way. I'm just making sure we don't have any... It's busy. Oh, goodness me, drivey. What are you doing? Good night. <laughs> I do not want to work there. No, where's the other where's the other ones? We've got some over at Durf, right? I think we've still got old ones out here. Out here. Absolutely. These are our slag trucks. We need to uh Perry slag deliver. Is it Perry? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Replace the trucks. Well it does matter. Don't want the oh I do kind of miss this. I'll tell you what part of it. I don't mind the maintenance. It's it's a good idea. It's it works. The only thing I will say I miss is you can't you can't pre-assign vehicles, goods. Yes, you can set them at the stations. I don't know. It swings around roundabouts on that one. If you've got a mixed consist that can take, say, say you're taking coal and iron. If you split your train in half in this game, it's perfect in this version of Transport Fever. If you split your train in half in Transport Fever 2, it's a lottery. What goes on? You can't do it. You can't split the train in two. You just got to have all of them and hope that it picks up half and half. But as far as I've seen, it doesn't. Uh, so, yeah, that's rough. So I would like the ability in the new one to set your goods. I would say this way is probably better out the two, but the, the other one has its uses too. Combination of both would be lovely. Anyway, what are we doing? Uh, you're waffling. Vehicles. Yeah, they're, they're 40 years old. They need replacing anyway. How do we replace? <laughs> it's been a while. We'll replace them with motorbikes. That'll be amazing. Freight. Oh, I also like that... It, say when you're going to replace a vehicle here, it remembers what the last one was. That needs to happen also in Transport Fever 2. Or some way to copy the existing one. This is brilliant. Some way to copy the existing one into the into the window in case you just want to like remove or add a couple of wagons on it. It's just needless amount of clicking. I know I'm a bit whiny, aren't I, today? It's things that are missing that are still in this one are a bit weird. What are we putting on here? Dumper truck, tipper truck, right? That's what we need, like a, a tipper. Do we have one that's, that, uh, we don't want these. I think they carry like everything. No, I want proper ones. Oh, I would like proper ones. Is this a tipper? That's a tanker. Thought it was a tipper. I can't see the tippers, guys. That's grain only because it's got the tarpaulin over the top. Tipper? That's a platform. That won't that won't do it for us. Aha! There we go. Tippers. Uh, that is a tipper. That will carry slag. What about that one? Ooh, that one's rather nice for out here, isn't it? I kind of like that one. I mean, it's a bit of a short route, but this, it does look cool. Right, you're taking slag. This, I love it. Okay, replace now. Let's get those replaced and see what they're like. Oh, we got old ones here as well. One at a time, Grant. One at a time. Where's the tipper gone? Ooh, here we go. There we go. Right. I mean, you don't have anything on at the moment. Let's see what he looks like. You look amazing. I love the old Volvo lorries. I love them. I mean, you're not carrying anything at the moment. Oh, yeah, I like that at the back. That looks better, doesn't it? Absolutely. Oh, they need to fix the camera, don't they? On uh, on the new one. 
Because when you go like this, it bobbles up and down. Like, it, it pays attention to the terrain, which is bizarre. It's supposed to be like this, fixed camera. Ooh, it's, it's pick on Transport Fever 2 day. No, Transport Fever 2 do better roads. There's actually a few things that they do better. Is this grain? It is. It is grain. Let's get you replaced. Replacements. Because uh, we saw that grain truck, didn't we? The specialised grain truck. Here you are. You get on there. Replace now. Did I do it in time? Hope so. Oh, and we could have a cattle truck as well. How's the grain truck anyway? I like you a lot. Right, let's get us a cattle truck as well. Replacements. I do like that it places replaces it automatically, uh, instantly, I should say, in the in Transport Fever 2. There you go, see, pluses for the new one. There's plenty of pluses. Those, I think those will do just fine. Replace now. Perfect. Now we've got cattle trucks. Actually, where is... That's a grain truck, right? Uh, replacements. Oh, we haven't replaced that one. Let's replace you with our new Volvo grain truck. There we go. Place now. Yes, please. All of them. Perfect. What else do we need replacing? Well, I didn't do these for the longest time. We've got another one here. Flatbed. Uh, what is that supposed to be taking? Plastics. Okay, let's pick us a plastics truck. I, I feel like that's box truck territory. But you could also have a flatbed, right? And I, we could do these. We could do, totally do those. They don't seem, to, they seem more long haul though, ideally. I mean, I put them on around town. But uh, yeah, plastics, what do we put plastics on? These, they do accept plastics. That would kind of be nice. Yes, I kind of like this little, where, where, how far are we running exactly? Yeah, it's like a little, Local route, isn't it? This is perfect. Get you on there. Did I pick it? There. Ooh, do we want a box truck? That has plastic. Go for the box truck. Okay. That that makes sense to me. I like you. Okay, we got new uh, new trucks galore. Oh, you just came out. This one's going to be new. I'm looking forward to modding the new game. I'm going to look into modding, that's for sure. Um... Uh, my my side of things is always the scripting and balancing. I'll probably make it uh, quite challenging if you, if you ever wanted to play my version of it. Depends how much access I've got. If it gives me enough access to the game, I'll change quite a few things. It won't be it won't be Urban Games' vision. It'll be more my vision. But uh, tempted to do that. Right? Is that all the trucks we've got there? How about anywhere else? Do we have any others? I don't... I don't think we do. We had some, like, milling around here, I thought. Oh, we got these farms to set up. We got a... F yeah, there's a food place over there as well that I just haven't done. Uh, oh, there we go. We should definitely do these tippers, shouldn't we? Let's do these. In fact, they're both... Yeah, they're both wrong. I can't believe these are already being... Mature changed to get I, I literally remember changing these and I thought it was recently I guess not well let's get us a, uh, a couple of those tippers that we had over the other side the sh smaller ones though that were under them where are they where's my tippers they're at the top weren't they there they are these these will do perfectly you get on there okay put coal replace now yes and the other ones are the iron, right? Is that coal? I think that's coal. Iron. From here. Uh, iron ore, yes. Replacement. We want those. Pink, yes. Pink tipper. Hey, that's what colour it is. The icon. Well, that's what colour it's going to be. There we go, guys. We've got another one done. That's beautiful. They, they should carry a bit more. I don't know whether it will increase this. Because we're, we're not really doing it to play the game. Like I am in the uh, the new one. We're just doing this for realism more than anything. Where's our little 
Yeah, <laughs> they're brilliant. Little tippers. They look like toy cars. Well, they, they, they probably look like the actual Volvo. But maybe. Yeah, no, they do. These look... What I'm trying to say is I had a toy car. Or a toy truck that looked like that. That's better, isn't it? <laughs> so the toy truck looked like the real one. What is this? Oh yeah, the little East Anglian train. Away he goes. A bit stuttery. I'm really not going to argue about the stutter on a map like this. Okay, so that's that done. Anything else we need changing? Did we change the one in Birmingham? Because we've got delivery down here. Yeah, that's got the... Uh, I love these. I'm just going to say, I absolutely love those. Oh, that looks beautiful. Well, it would look even more beautiful if you didn't highlight the ground. Anybody playing today? I don't think so. Oh, I don't know. It's a Sunday. Put you on a Sunday, isn't there, sometimes? Depending who's playing. Right then, guys. Let's find somewhere to be. That has been episode 113. When we come back next Sunday... I think Sundays will be fine. Remind me... I'm going to say it to myself. Remind yourself to put the poll up about live streaming. <laughs> yes, so either way, we'll be back with an episode at the very least on Sunday. And we'll go, we'll go and connect Stone Up with Stafford, which will mean a bit of a junction. And that's going to be fun. This looks beautiful. I'm just saying. I may say so myself, is what I should say there, right? Uh, coming up uh, this week, there's going to be more and more of Transport Fever 2. I'm loving my time in it, even though I was a little bit moany about it. It wasn't more, it wasn't so much moaning as I miss things in Transport Fever 1 that are sure to appear. It's early days, so we'll give it a bit of time. I mean, it's not been out that long, has it, at all? But for the Midlands, we're going to continue for as long as the map holds out. It is really starting to struggle in, in some places, just because of the amount of things that are going on. But uh, I will, I will endeavour to try and keep it going for you guys. And uh, so we can at least get the, the train network in, the modern train network. If that goes in, I'll be happy and then we can call it... Uh, I mean, if, if we can start doing, if we can start doing recreations in Transport Fever 1, uh, 2, yeah, in Transport Fever 2, then we'll, we'll switch, I think. We'll, we'll start a smaller, a smaller one will be our first one. So that you can, you can all play at home. And that will just have it as a train set sort of thing. This is one hell of a train set, isn't it? Goodness me. We've almost got, uh. We've almost got it all connected. I'm happy. There goes an Intercity 225 off into the distance. I know that's coming to uh, Transport Fever 2. Exciting times ahead. Anyway, guys, congratulations again to Ang East Anglian Train Spotting. And I hope you all enjoyed this one. A bit different. Needed to needed to recap on, on what's going on and on all the differences between this and Transport Fever 2. We did manage to set up all those trucks though something i've been putting off for the longest time and that's all done there's a lovely variety of trains around here amazing anyway until next time take care <laughs>